Good afternoon. You're watching BBC Newsline. The Education Authority has investigated staffing-related matters and financial issues at Ballyclare Secondary School in County Antrim. The Board of Governors at the school has also confirmed they are working through a number of issues. Our education correspondent, Robbie Meredith, has more. OK, now let's get the weather forecast with Barra. Hi, Barra. Hello, Catherine. Thank you very much, Will. Hello, thanks for joining us. First tonight, the Chief Executive of Mid and East Antrim Council, Anne Donaghy, has been suspended. She's responded by saying she's taking legal action against the Council for alleged discrimination. Ms Donaghy was placed on precautionary suspension while an independent investigation is carried out into allegations of bullying and harassment. It's the latest development in an ongoing controversy surrounding the local authority. Our North East reporter, Maria McCann, has more. And Donna Let me know. The United States is reportedly delaying a deal to remove tariffs on UK steel and aluminium because of the government's threat to trigger Article 16 of the Northern Ireland Protocol. UK ministers have insisted that the two issues should not be linked. Here's our economics and business editor, John Campbell. The US... The executive has said it's vitally important that everyone redoubles their efforts to drive COVID infection rates down. But Stormont is facing calls to provide more specific advice around issues like Christmas parties. This comes after the Prime Minister Boris Johnson said people shouldn't be cancelling things when he was asked if events like parties should go ahead. Kevin Sharkey reports. The Education Authority has investigated staffing-related matters and financial issues at Ballyclare Secondary School in County Antrim. The school's Board of Governors has also confirmed they are working through a number of issues. Our education correspondent Robbie Meredith has more. 27,000 ducks will have to be culled after a case of suspected avian influenza or bird flu was found in County Tyrone. A temporary control zone has been put in place around the commercial site in Ochnacloy. Well, our agriculture correspondent Louise Cullen joins me now. Louise, just how concerning is the discovery of this case? Well, Catherine, this case... There's a political row over a report published yesterday into flags and culture in Northern Ireland. Sinn Féin says the DUP is blocking the implementation of proposals, identity, culture and tradition report. But the DUP says it wants to consult members of the public first. BBC Newsline's Sarah Garvin reports. Belfast. Now let's get the sport with Stephen Watson. And Stephen, a row is looming in the world of golf. Tell us more. See you then, Stephen. Thank you. Now, time for the weather forecast. And Barra's here. And Barra, I hardly need to ask you if it's raining outside because I could hear it pelting off Stephen's roof there. Yeah, I was about to say, yeah, it's not raining. Cool. Barra, thank you. Well, that is it for now from us. Our late news is at 10.30. Until then, you can keep up to date with the BBC News NI website and with Radio Ulster. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.